Inventor 2017 includes the ability to now export 3D PDF. So as you can see here, I've got a model. It's actually one of the sample models. And it contains a couple design views. So I can flip between some different design views. And I'm just going to go back to the master view here. So there's some design views in here. I can see some components. Um, obviously, components are going to turn off and on. And what I want to do is I want to share this. So somebody's requested a version that they can view. And honestly, what's probably the, the best format to exchange not just CAD data, but any data, it's PDF. Because pretty much everybody out there has access to some type of PDF viewer, whether it be Adobe Acrobat, you know, the reader, or the full version, or you know, many of the, the dozens of, of PDF viewers that are available. So I'm going to go to the, the application menu. Sorry, the file application menu. I'm going to go to the export flyout. And from the export flyout, I'm going to select the new 3D PDF option. And what we can see here is the new Powered by Anarch Core. So this is not Autodesk technology. This is technology that they're licensing from Anarch Core. Now, what information do we want to include? You know, do I want to include I properties or not? And notice how I can quickly um, select the properties either by using the toggles here at the bottom. So this one here is just kind of your standard properties. Or what I can do is I can scroll up and down and you know maybe I don't want to include the document summary properties, maybe I don't want to include you know user-defined properties. So I can pick and choose which properties I'm exporting. Which design views do I want to export? So again, I can quickly come in here, select all, um, or pick and choose the ones that I want. What's the visualization quality? Now the visualization quality will be you know, the higher the visualization, the better the, the image that's included, but obviously the higher the PDF file size is going to be as well. So it really comes down to what are you trying to present. If somebody just wants to do kind of a, a design review, then you know the, the low to medium is, is going to be sufficient. But if this is somewhat of a marketing presentation, a sales pitch, then you may want to go high so there's more details included. Now I'm going to limit the expo the sorry the scope here so that only entities in the design view representation. So there's parts that you don't want to include. We'll just make sure that they're turned off in the design views that you're exporting, and then those components won't be available to the person who's viewing the, the PDF. Notice the template options here. So there are different templates that we can select from. And Inventor 2017 actually ships with a, a few samples here. Now you can actually customize these. You can build your own. Um, there's actually a series of tools. It's it's I wouldn't say it's very visual. It's not automated, um, but you can build your own, which is something that we're going to have to cover in a in a separate video. I mean, in this case, I just want to focus on you know how to actually create these 3D PDFs. So in this case, I'm just going to use the sample assembly template, and I'm going to save it. As you can see here, I'm going to save it to my desktop and it's just going to use the assembly file name. I'm also going to view the PDF when it's finished. And lastly here, notice the new option to generate and attach a step file, which is kind of a neat option because you know, if I'm exchanging data with somebody else, they can view the PDF, and if I've embedded the step file, then they'll have this neutral file that they can, they can you know, save out of the PDF and then open in whatever CAD system they're using. So it's kind of a neat option that, they can, that you can do within the 2017 export. So at this point, I've got my settings set the way that I want them to be. So I'm going to click Publish. And you can see here, it's going to use the Anarch Core, and it's going to create that PDF file. Now, the time that it takes to create this is really dependent on, on various factors. So how big is the model? right? How many components? What's the complexity of the geometry? How many design views does it have to, to deal with? Also, you know, have I picked low, medium, or the high quality um, visualization options. So in this case, you can see that it didn't take very long to, to create that. So now that it's done, what it's done obviously is it's exported and it opened the PDF because I asked it to. And you can see now because of the template that I'm actually able to view the model. And then over on the right side here, there's some information. So we can see the part number, the designer, I can see the various model views. And this is just a built-in plugin because of the template I selected. And there's actually a parts list in here that I can select and click through the components. And notice the abilities to show all and to isolate and to hide. So this is part of that template that you're able to customize. So if you want some information along the bottom, you know, if you want your logo, if you want different eye properties in here, that's completely customizable and you can build your own templates. Now here what we can see is that you can actually see that there is a um, 
view here. And within this view, I'm just using my mouse right now, but notice that I can I can rotate it. I can flip the default tool here to maybe spin because I want to kind of keep it horizontal as I'm looking at it. Sorry, I meant vertical, not horizontal. I can pan, I can zoom, I can fly in. There's actually a 3D measurement tool. So you can see here, just a tool tip here just to help me when I'm using it. But the idea is that it is vector based. So I can actually model or extract dimensions from this model um, because it is a vector based model. And I can also add some 3D comments. Continuing on here, there's other ways to flip between the different design views, same as within here, but I can flip between these different model views. I can come over here and I can actually toggle the model tree. So I actually get the browser and I can see the components that make up this component. And again, I can click on them and I can expand them. And there's some right click options here to isolate and hide and you know make transparent and change how that component is actually being rendered. So maybe I want that one to be, well, that's actually a bad one. Let's take this one. And let's actually ch change this to a illustration view. So you can see the, the different options in, in what we can do to work with those, those various components. So it's made that into that particular style of, of view. Continue on here, I can change the perspective. I can change the overall assembly view. I can change the different lights. Maybe I want some different lights applied to that. I can change the background color and I can actually apply sections. So it's actually a really powerful export that's created. So it's not just simply the model, but it's the model plus additional tools, additional tools for interrogating the model, changing how you're looking at it. And then with the template and how you can include other options here, you can see how you can really make this very professional PDF that you can exchange with your customers, with your vendors, with your coworkers, um, it's actually a really great addition to Inventor 2017.